let's talk about the greatest technique, the greatest method for manifestation. It's just practice. This is something I don't see being talked about very much. I think the closest people get is talking about reaffirming. Excuse the road noise, I don't know if you can hear it, but this is what I get for manifesting a, a place uh, in an urban environment, right? <laughs> so reaffirming, that does get talked about. And I feel like there's kind of two flavors of manifestation coach from what I've seen at least. There's there's the, the, the technique peddlers and there's the bro, just believe you can do it guys, right? And they're both right, everyone's right. Because whether you believe you can or be believe you can't, you are right. Okay, we make the rules. There are very, very few rules that we cannot break or bend. So if you believe you have to do this specific thing in order to get what you want, then you will. If you believe you can click your fingers, truly 100% believe with zero doubt that you can click your fingers and get whatever you want, then that will be your reality. So I, I really quite like the bro just believe guys um you'll you'll hear people talking about i am right the the, the, the i am folks um i'm i prefer that kind of vein of manifestation myself but i think where that message falls short a little bit is like how do you get there while it is 100 percent true that all you have to do is believe and you can get it Getting to the point where you can just believe you can have whatever you want is, is difficult for a lot of people. A lot of people struggle. I see it and I've been there myself. So let me offer this method or advice, practice. So if our goal, and I think this is the, the easiest path. In my opinion, this is the easiest path to, to get to where you want to be to get into this mindset of infinite possibility and creation. If our goal is to create an identity that has what you want and embody that identity, then the way you get to becoming that identity is through practice. I'm going to give you a small example. When I started this YouTube channel, you can probably hear it in the way I used to speak. I was smaller, more reserved, less sure of myself, less, less confident. And that is entirely because I wasn't comfortable speaking my mind in this area. I, I, I was not an unconfident person, but in, on this particular topic, I was concerned that, that, especially if anyone I knew in the real world, shall we say, came across it, I was worried that they'd call me a kook or, or whatever. You know, I, I felt like people in my life weren't ready for this version of me. Now, really, that means that I wasn't ready for this version of me, but I got over it very deliberately. So I, I identified, I was conscious of this hesitation I had, but I also really wanted to become this version of myself, this uh, person who is confident talking about spirituality and manifestation and like whatever you want to call it. And the way that I became this person who is confident talking about this stuff is by just doing it, right? I knew that if I put up videos, I would slowly chip away at all the resistance that I had. And this is what I've talked about previously. It's not about attracting what you want to you. It's about removing the blocks so that what you want comes naturally. Now, don't get me wrong, it's really easy to get stuck in that uh, process and you're just spending your entire life removing blocks. I don't want you to get stuck there because I see it. I, I see this all the time. It's actually really common where people are like, oh yeah, I want this, but I have to do this first. Like I have to remove this block or 
you know, like, and then they remove the block, but then they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah but I just still have this block. <laughs> I used to have that mindset myself, right? So you don't want to get like slap happy with it. You don't want to just accept your limitations. All right. So set your goal, set your intent, make the choice. And when you feel the resistance, if you feel the resistance rising up, and that that resistance can take many forms, it can it can manifest as you being scared of success, you know, like well, like wow, not knowing what to do you do with yourself if you actually got it, or not believing that you could actually get it. That's a block. There's some resistance. It could be that you're still stuck in in physical thinking and you believe you have to take certain physical steps before you can have the thing that you want. That's resistance too, that's a block. So don't go looking for the blocks until they're a problem, right? So set your intent, make the choice. If and when a block arises, that's when you deal with it. That's when you delve into shadow work or or whatnot, but you don't make a hobby of shadow work, (laughs) right? I think that's where a lot of people Uh, that's where a lot of people stumble. Okay. So, so practice. So like I said, you know, I I was not confident talking about this stuff. So I created a YouTube channel to practice talking about this stuff. And now I'm not scared anymore. You know, if, if we want to use that word. So practice little, you know, bit by bit, every video, Every time I read comments, it chips away at that version of me who isn't confident talking about this stuff. And that's what you need to do. So let, let me see if I can we'll use another example here. Um, okay, let's maybe, let's try money. Let's try money. So what can we do with money? If you're broke, how can you practice getting out of the mindset of being broke? Well. All right, here's an example. There are instances where you have to spend money, groceries, for example, right? And maybe you feel resistance and tension and stress whenever you have to do that because you're spending money you believe you don't have, or you feel that you don't have much money and anytime you have to part with it, it's not a great feeling. But here's the thing, you have to spend that money. You have to eat. You can't avoid it. So whenever you come across a situation where you have to spend the money, what you will be practicing is not feeling stressed, accepting that this is money you have to spend. This is what you have to do to survive. This is living. And then maybe if you want to pile onto that, you can add some sort of affirmation or just general thought that this is going to come back to me a hundredfold or whatever you want to say, whatever feels good to you. I actually, I actually say 3000 fold, which may seem excessive, but why not? Fuck it. (laughs) You know, and, and I used to be there myself. I used to, there have been times in my life where I've felt uh, stressed spending money, right? But in situations where you can't avoid it, why? Why feel stressed? You know, because you're just torturing yourself. And that, that, we do that so often, man. You know, like whenever someone hurts us, holding a grudge doesn't do shit to them. It just keeps hurting us. So we get hurt and then we decide, oh, I'm going to keep hurting myself because they deserve it. You're not hurting them. You're not teaching them a lesson. You're only torturing yourself. (laughs) But just practice, you know, if you, if you like to meditate and visualize practice, make it a daily thing. And you have to trust that it's going to lead somewhere. You know, you have to get over that need for instant gratification. Remember what we talked about? I think it was the last video, getting addicted to the illusion, right? It's so easy. It's so easy to, to need the validation, to need the gold star. But we know, we know how this works. Like if you, I think learning an instrument is a really good example. Like especially guitar, guitar is very difficult at the beginning, but you get to a point where you can teach yourself, right? We know this to be 
we know this to be true, you know, within the physical world. So why isn't it true mentally? Of course it's true mentally, <laughs> right? But we're so fixated on, no, 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 I need the feedback. I need the result. I need, I, I need someone to, to come. I need God to come down and say, yes, you're on the right track. I'm looking for signs, you know? Yeah, signs are out there for sure, because everything that happens in your reality, in your perception, is you pushed out. So everything is a sign, but don't go waiting for the sign, <laughs> right? Take command, take control, take back your power, make the choice. We've talked about this before. The choice, it's our ultimate and only power. There is no greater power. Think about it. Like, what could you possibly want greater than choice? Any, any form of power you could possibly want comes down to choice. <laughs> so embrace it. Practice. So you need to tell yourself that this is leading somewhere, because it is. And the practice, the repetition, the scripting, the visualization, the affirmations, whatever, that's not what gets you what you want and you don't need it to get what you want, but sometimes, sometimes you need it to get what you want <laughs> because it dissolves the block. It gets you out of your own way. That's all it does. That's all it is. So sure, if you can wake up one morning and go, I get it. No resistance, no doubt. I can have whatever, whatever I want at the, the click of my fingers. Cool. <laughs> you know, great. That's it. That's the one. That's the goal, right? And I'm happy for you. But until that day, practice. All right, guys, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest.